Watch me make this wreath for Valentine's Day. I am using a wreath form from Hobby Lobby and two bolts of 10 inch mesh. I start by cutting the mesh into 24 inch pieces. I'm going to ruffle them and I'm going to be placing them into the outer edge of the wreath form. I'm going to alternate my colors, red, pink, red, pink, as I go around the wreath and I'm going to put them in, like I said, this outer edge closest to the table. And I'm going to go all the way around until the wreath is full. I'm putting them fairly close together because I don't want like spaces where the green wreath is going to be showing so I'm trying to put them pretty close side to side to fill in most of the wreath. Here is the wreath. Once I finish the outer ring, now I'm going to be placing mesh on the inner side of the ring. Again, I'm just ruffling and it doesn't matter where you start, you just pick a spot and you stick the mesh right in. Next up is the ribbon. I have six different types of ribbon that I cut into 14 inch pieces. I'm gonna start with just four pieces of each ribbon. I have two of these that are my favorite that I'm gonna try and sneak in somewhere. <laughs> so you make an X, pinch it, and you're just gonna twist it right in. It could be on top of where the mesh is or it could be just in the middle, wherever the outer edge looks like it needs to be filled. And then once I put this grouping in, I fan them out and I'm going to grab one of each ribbon from the next grouping. And I'm just going to twist it in. And I'm going to continue alternating between the groups of ribbon as I go around the wreath. Like I said, I have six different patterns of ribbon and I cut four 14 inch pieces of each of those ribbons and I paired them into groups of two. And if you have a ribbon that has like an image on it that's going one direction, I usually try to make sure as I place each ribbon in that they're all facing the same direction. I hope that makes sense.
I'm using the last group of ribbon to fill in the small little gap here and then any extra ribbons that I have left over I can just fill into the wreath after I'm done if there's any gaps that I need to fill. So I put all the ribbons in the outer edge. Now I'm going to be adding these heart wreath attachments that I made and I want them kind of angled and I'm going to be placing them in like this. I skipped ahead for time purposes but yes. Twist them on really tight. I made a bow that's going to go in this top corner. I have separate bow tutorials if you want to learn how to make these bows, but it's basically has it has one tail that I'm going to be cascading down the wreath. And for this one I'm using a a piece of white pipe cleaner that I'm going to use to twist it onto the wreath. Sometimes when you're putting a bow on, the tail will fall right where there's like pine that you can twist it in. Then you don't have to use a pipe cleaner. I tucked the tails completely in so my tails aren't showing. And then I made a second bow that's going to go on this side. And again, it's going to cascade down. This one, there is a pine branch really close that I can just twist it right into. And then these tails I am going to leave showing. I'm just going to dovetail the edges of them. Ta-da! Alright, now I'm going to be adding in some fun ornaments that I found. Basically anywhere where there is an empty spot or space, you want to fill with random objects. Makes it look amazing. The more you put in, the better it'll look. So I have these pink and white sparkly swirl ornaments and then I have some red velvet ones that are my favorite and I also have this red glitter heart that I'm going to put right here where I had tied the bow in so that the green pine doesn't show as much so I'm going to glue that on here is the finished wreath I hope you liked this video I know it was kind of a quick one hopefully we'll have some longer ones on our YouTube channel um, but yeah Thank you for watching, and if you want to buy a wreath, make sure to visit our website at shopdesignerdiy.com.